Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Welcome to um, another Sunday of Children's Ministry on YouTube. I hope that everyone had a wonderful week. Um, today, we're going to talk about joy. Um, joy is that feeling that you get from all of the wonderful things around you. And I think that after going through um, a really hard time, I think focusing on joy is a really good thing to do. So we're going to read a really short story today. It's from Galatians 5. It's um, called The Fruit of the Spirit. Um, and it talks about joy. So I thought it was a pretty fitting story to read. Like I said, it's really short. It's called Fruit of the Spirit and it's from Galatians 5. In one of his letters, Paul wrote about the fruit of the Spirit, how the Holy Spirit changes Christians as he works in their hearts. When the Spirit lives inside, he makes his fruit. Those fruits are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. All of these things grow in a person's life. This is the way Jesus lived, and we should want to become more like him. All right, so all of those things that we listed, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, um, faithfulness, um, self-control, and goodness, all of those things are things that Jesus did in his life and the way that he lived. And we're always looking to live more like him. So we want to also um, grow those kinds of fruits and put those things out into the world. So today I just want to talk about one of them though. I just want to talk about joy. Because I feel like in a really hard time, it's really easy to think about all of the bad things. Um, and we kind of stop focusing on all of the really good and joyous things in our lives. So today, that's what I really want to focus on. Um, because we have the Holy Spirit, we can also have joy. After we trust in Jesus, he gives us that Holy Spirit who lives within us. Um, it is the Spirit who produces this fruit in us when we trust in him. We can experience joy when we know God. He is our joy. And the more that we know him, the greater that our own joy becomes. And he has given us so much joy in this world. And all we have to do is find it and focus on it. Um, so like I said, maybe you're focusing on a lot of the bad things that you had to do school online and that was really hard and you couldn't see your friends for a while. But there's also, I guarantee, a lot of joy happening in your life as well. So maybe it was one day you woke up and the sun was shining. I know that brings me a lot of joy to see that because it means I can be outside um, and enjoy the beautiful weather. So, or maybe you found that joy in playing your favorite game with your family. Um, doing something that you love like that brings you joy and maybe you don't even notice it sometimes. Um, or maybe you found that joy in being outside riding your bike or kicking a ball around or... Um, doing fun outdoor things like that. So there's a lot of joy that's been happening in your life. Um, and maybe you just kind of forgot to think about it. So today and this week, that's what I want you to do. I want you to focus on that. I want you to focus on all of those things that bring you joy. Because once you focus on that, you're going to feel that joy. And then you're going to be that joy to someone else. And then someone else is going to feel that joy. And they're going to spread that joy. And it's just going to keep going. And then you're just going to spread all of this joy into the world. And that's really what we want right now, especially in a really hard time. You know, we want to stop focusing on all the bad things. And we want to start focusing on all of that joy. So this week... Be that joy. Find that joy. And the second that something brings you joy, stop and go tell somebody about it. Say, Mom, Dad, you know, gosh, being outside, taking a hike is really bringing me joy. Or maybe you guys got really adventurous and you went out to eat for the first time in two months. And that brought you a lot of joy because you got to eat your favorite meal again. Whatever it is, stop. Share that joy because once you start showing that joy, it's going to spread. And that's what we want to do this week. We want to spread joy. We want to spread that kind of love. And we want 
everyone to feel it, just the way that Jesus wanted everyone to feel it. So today and the rest of this week, focus on joy. And I hope that you find that joy and that you will share that joy. Um, I hope you guys have a great week and a happy Sunday, and we will see you next week. Bye.